That's all that matters. Well, we'll push on to Carantan as soon as we take St. Combe to Mars. Can't take a breather yet. Grab your gear, soldier. Mark Tardif, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Gearbox is developing for Ubisoft a game called Borders in Arms. It's yeah. a, a very interesting uh, strategy action game. First of all, it's based on a true story. How's that? Absolutely. Um, we, we, uh, when we were researching this title, we, we came across, we came across a, a squad of soldiers in, in the 101st Airborne. And after reading about what they did during the, before the invasion of D-Day, it was like something out of fiction. Like you, you couldn't sit down and write a better story than what these people did. And so we hired a consultant, Colonel John Antal, who's a historian, 30 years military veteran. And uh, he went to Normandy with a bunch of our guys and started researching what these people actually did. And so what Brothers in Arms is, is a true story of eight days of this one squad of the 101st Airborne in Normandy in 1944. Let's talk about the squad. Okay. Who's in it? Uh, the, the squad is actually made up of, of fictitious people. The, the names are fictitious. The actual people in the squad and what they did were real. But for various reasons, we weren't able to actually use the real names of the people in the squad. So the, the, uh, the main character who you play is Matt Baker, the squad leader. And they, you have 13 men under your control who throughout the game you get to, you, you get to meet and command throughout the game. And their survival is as important as ours, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And your, your survival hinges on, you, on their actions and your ability to lead them more than, than their lives on you. What is very really interesting about a game is that there's a tactical command system. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, the, uh, the tactical command system is, is something that we, we really believed in from the very beginning. We, we played a lot of first-person shooters and a lot of first-person shooters that take place in World War II. And for the most part, they're all basically the same. It's a twitch game. You, you point the cursor on the guy and you shoot him until his health comes to zero, or, or the guy charges you and tries to kill you until your health gets to zero. It's a skill test. And what we wanted to do is add another layer of thinking into the game. And so we implemented a squad control system that's very easy to learn. It only takes one button, it's content sensitive, so you basically put the cursor on the ground and you guys run there. You put your cursor over the enemy and they fire at the enemy. You tell the, you put the cursor on a fixed weapon, like an AA gun, and they, they man that weapon. And what this does is open up a whole new area of gameplay that's very tactical in nature, very squad combat, and it's very much more in, involved and in-depth than your typical first-person shooter. So we've got to use maneuvers that the military is used, like oh, flanking maneuvers, for absolutely. example. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the main focus of our game, is military tactics. And we teach you this throughout, throughout, the, throughout the game. And that's one thing that Colonel Antal has actually taught us, is how to use this. He brought us out into the field, and we went through real military training exercise to learn how soldiers in World War II actually fought. And it's based on the, the notion of suppress and move. We have two fire teams. One is a base of fire team who, who carries a lot of really heavy machine guns. And they're able to really suppress the, the enemy, put a lot of fire on them. And they're able to make the enemy cower behind walls and fear for their own lives. And while that one team is suppressing the enemy, you're able to take the other team and maneuver around and flank the enemy and eliminate them. You even got a tactical map. Yes, the, we, have a, we have something that we call uh, the tactical map. or the uh, And the reason why we did this is in, in World War II, the, but the paratroopers didn't just jump in unprepared. They spent months like studying sand tables and aerial photographs. I mean, they knew this terrain like the back of their hands. As gamers, we don't have that, that, that knowledge. And so we implemented the tactical view. So at any time, you can pull out into a, like a, a top-down view of, of the battlefield, and you can kind of survey what's going on. You can see where the enemies are, you can see where your objectives are, and you can make a plan about what you want to do before you jump back in so you're not unprepared. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you.